Hi everybody, this is Tashi aka Free Butterfly. I have an awesome DIY for you today. Today's DIY is a DIY eyeshadow palette using books. Books are one of my favorite things and to be able to incorporate them into my everyday makeup routine is just awesome. These are a fun twist on traditional DIY makeup palettes. So if you wanna see how I did them, just keep watching. What you will need for this DIY is books. You can get them from the consignment store, thrift stores, or if you have some in your collection you just haven't known what to do with, you can use those. An X-Acto knife, careful it's sharp, a pencil, an old paintbrush, Mod Podge, and I have two different ones. I have the gloss and the matte. Magnets, I really like this particular brand of magnets. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just really wanted to show you guys the ones that I personally use. They do say they have a strength of one to two, but I kind of feel it's a little bit stronger than that and then a ruler. So before beginning, make sure to go through your books and see if there's any writing or anything you do not want in the actual palette. This one did have some writing because I bought it at a consignment store. So I'm going to adhere that page to the front cover of the book. I'm gonna be using the matte Mod Podge for it. And a quick note, when you are adhering the paper, just really be careful for air bubbles. I didn't realize that I had an air bubble until after I had finished it and looked at the book. Now for me personally, I like my palettes to have the feel of an actual book, so I like to keep one or two pages loose. You don't have to do that. If you do not, you can bind all of them together with the Mod Podge. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it and put the Mod Podge around the entire book, just the edges as you can see. Make sure to get the Mod Podge on the paper as well as the back of the book because all of that needs to be combined together. I'm doing a pretty thick but even coat. Um, my Mod Podge dries between 15 to 20 minutes and for this book I'm gonna do three very thick coats. If you make a mess, just get a napkin and clean it up before it dries. I put some books on top of it to put pressure so that it can dry. Now as you can see, this part has already dried. Not completely, there's still a little bit of white but it has dried mostly so I'm gonna put another coat on. And this is a great opportunity to see if you missed anything, if there's any cracks, or some of the pages are not adhered correctly. Now while the other book dries, I'm gonna move on to this one and do basically the same thing. So the first coat has dried and I did notice that there were a few pages that were not adhered correctly. So this is a great opportunity to go back through it, add some more glue, as well as consistent pressure so that those pages are all adhered correctly and they're bound uniformly. All right, now it's time for the fun part or the really long part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our magnet and a pencil and trace around it. I really suggest that you use a pencil, not a marker or a pen, because if you do make a mistake, you can't take it off, and it will be seen on the cover of your book. I'm gonna go back over with a ruler and make the original trace just a little bit wider, because I notice when I cut with an X-Acto knife, I don't always cut perfectly, and if I make it a little bit wider than the original trace, the magnet will fit in perfectly. So if you can go just a tiny bit bigger than the actual magnet, it will really help because if you don't, sometimes paper bunches during the corners and it can really impede from the magnet fitting smoothly. No, we're done. The edges don't look very pretty, but don't worry about that. We're gonna fix it right now. Take your Mod Podge, do even but thick coats, and paint the edge, as you can see right now. I'm gonna paint the inside of the book. I'm gonna paint the edges of the inside, as well as the center of the book. Now 
Now when you're done with the Mod Podge, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the title pages and put it on top. Don't press it down, just put it on the top of the edges. I'm going to close the book and press firmly on the outside so that it's adhered correctly. Then you're going to take the ruler as well as the pencil and you're going to gently trace from one point to the opposite point. Do it in a diagonal line, it really does make a difference. Only cut into the hollow area, but don't cut too deep. You're going to press down the edges. Do not press down the center just yet. Just press down the edges. Now we're going to take my magnet, which is self adhesive. If yours is not, you can put Mod Podge on the bottom. And then I'm going to put Mod Podge on top of the magnet. And the pieces of paper that are standing up, I'm going to place them on the magnet. I'm also going to then take another coat of Mod Podge to seal the paper as well as be the base, I'm going to take a piece of paper from the actual book and use it as the bottom of the palette. I think this is a fun way to incorporate an actual page from the book. I'm going to also seal it with Mod Podge. Make sure to do this because if you do accidentally spill any of your makeup on it, you can easily wipe it off and it will protect the paper from ripping and tearing. Now onto the second book. This book is a little bit different just because it's going to require two sheets of magnets. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make sure to go a little bit wider than the actual magnets in height as well as width. So that, like I said before, when I use my X-Acto knife, I know I'm not 100% precise. I have gotten rid of all the paper that they can fit in smoothly and evenly and that the magnets themselves will not bubble. Now for this book, I went in about half to three fourths of an inch deep. I felt that, that was sufficient for the size of the book as well as to give me the look that I wanted and to hold all of the eyeshadows and blushes without them touching the top. As you can see, we are done. I'm going to make sure that my magnets fit correctly because I was having a little bit of issue with the edges as you can see when I pointed to them. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this book. I had some pages from another book I turned into an eyeshadow palette that I kept. I really, really like them. You can use magazines. You can use whatever you want. You don't even have to do this, but I really like it. I feel like it's really personalized. I set them up the way that I wanted, and then I'm going to take the Mod Podge and just paint all around the edges and the border. Do not paint the center of the book. We're not ready for that just yet. I cut down the pictures to the exact sizes that I wanted so I made sure that there was no overlap because I didn't want that. And then I'm going to do basically what I did with the other book. Making sure to put pressure on the edges but not the center. Now instead of taking the ruler, I'm just going to take the X-Acto knife and feel for the edge and just do a diagonal line. As you can see, I'm only going to make sure to press down the edges of the book, not the centers. Then I'm going to put the magnets down. You could do this step before, but I, I just didn't. Now I'm going to take some of the Mod Podge and just paint down those edges while I'm going to cut the other ones so that they're not in my way. I'm going to take the Mod Podge and seal the paper as well as put it on the center because I'm going to be putting some more paper on top of it. For this, I don't really feel like you have to let it dry in between. You can just work at this at once. So there's some few pieces of magnets showing through and I really don't want that so I'm taking some of the strips from the pictures I cut off and adding it, making like a little collage, mix match colors. And this is the focal point, I'm putting it in the center and then I'm going to put Mod Podge on top of it like I said before to act as a sealant and protect the picture. And that is all there is to it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you make this, definitely make sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more DIYs, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share. I'll talk to you guys later. Remember, God loves you and God bless. Bye!